first digital product idea I have for you is a mini course. Now, I wanna be really clear on what I mean by a mini course. I don't mean like a full-blown course that you're going to sell for a couple hundred dollars. I'm talking about something in you know the $27 to $37 range where you're just giving them a taste, just like that beginner step. Natasha does this really well. She has a beginner reels course, but that allows people to get a sense of what her teaching style is and build that trust with them because if people buy something at a smaller price point and think, wow, this was super valuable, this helped me get my first reel out, I wanna do more reels. I wanna learn more about reel strategy and video marketing strategy. So then they're gonna look at her more in-depth courses and programs. So when you're thinking about a digital product that's super easy to get out over the weekend, a mini course is great because again, you don't need to go into full detail about your strategy or about something that you wanna teach. You just wanna give them the first pieces to get started so they get a quick win and they wanna learn more about how they can work with you or they wanna learn that next step in what you're teaching. Another digital product idea is branding bundles or branding collections. So many people that are just getting started building their business, they wanna look professional, but they're not sure how to get started, right? They don't have that branding or that web design kind of background to understand what colors work well together, what fonts work well together. And if you can bundle these up and share these for like 17, $27 with, you know, these colors look great together and these fonts look great together. And then you have some templates in Canva that package with that bundle. Again, you're really gonna give some amazing value for that person that's just getting started with their business. And they're gonna remember that when they need to hire, you know, somebody to help them in that next step, when they have more money to then hire somebody out. So here's a great example of a shop item where you can see how things are bundled together and people can really select, you know, what they feel their brand really resonates with. And again, this is drilling down to solving that one problem for that one person that we talked about in last week's video. That's what's really gonna make your digital product sell to more people and you're gonna make more money with your digital product is when you're just solving one problem for one person. These bundles being solving the problem of getting a professional looking brand with those beginner business owners. Another great digital product idea that you can make in one day is swipe copy or copy templates. So my friend Ashlyn Carter over at Ashlyn Writes has an entire copy bar shop that has a lot of these, but the reason why these are so effective is because as busy business owners, or if your audience is a busy audience, like a busy mom trying to get organized, or maybe even an artist figuring out how to pitch their art to somebody in an email or in a PR package, right? By having a template that really shortcuts the process for us, and it is very helpful and it's solving that one problem for that one person. So for example, this one that Ashlyn does, she gives you two years worth of email content for business owners. Now this is templated out so it could work for any niche, but it's giving you a jump start. You're not having to think about, oh, what am I gonna write in my email this week to my people? She's giving you a solution that's gonna allow you to do this quickly. It's gonna allow you to get started and stop thinking about it, so it's going to save you time. And this one is super easy to deliver because all you need to deliver this is Google Docs, and you can just send them the link to use it. Next up is a workbook. And I know a lot of my digital product ideas are kind of heavy for the business to business owner. And so I wanna pull an example out here in the workbook idea of how you can do business to consumer. So Becca over at Happy Ever Crafter, she has these watercolor workbooks that she sells. And these are great for somebody that is wanting to start a hobby or wanting to start watercoloring. Watercoloring, I think that's what you call it. But again, this is a super simple digital product solving one problem for one person. That person that maybe wants to get a little artsy, maybe wants to find a hobby or is maybe playing around with watercolors and needs a way to practice their watercolor painting. So this doesn't always have to drill down from business to business. These products can all work business to consumer, but you really need to think about who your consumer is, what's that one person and the one problem that they are having. So in Becca's instance, people are having a problem practicing their watercolor coloring. Maybe they don't have a place that they can go to near them to buy water coloring workbooks, right? So she can get that to them right here in her shop. Wait! 
There are two very important things that I forgot to mention when it comes to selling your digital products. First up, you want to really avoid selling on Etsy. Etsy takes a lot of fees and it's really difficult to make your products pop up in Etsy. And I would highly recommend creating your own system of selling your digital products, which good news, the next couple videos that I will be publishing here on my YouTube channel are all around creating and selling and setting up your digital product funnel. So make sure you're subscribed for that. But I would really avoid selling on Etsy. You don't have control of that platform. And so when you can create your own system of selling, first of all, you keep more profits. And again, you can control that system. The other thing that I think is really important to mention here is even if you create one of these digital products this weekend, and if you do, let me know which one you are creating this weekend in the comments below, you're not instantly going to make $10,000 in a month on one of these digital products. I'm gonna be truthful here and transparent. In my last video that I will link, I think on this side of the video, I talk about why it's really important you need a digital product in your business and what you really need to know about selling your digital products to get to that $10,000 a month goal. So make sure you check that video out next because I deep dive into why I don't think it's realistic for a goal of yours to sell $10,000 in a digital product getting started and how you could actually get to $10,000 a month with the digital product eventually. Totally possible, eventually. Now this one is kind of a template too, but I'm thinking like project management software templates. Notion templates, Asana templates, Trello templates, ClickUp templates. People love these and I'm gonna tell you, I use my Asana for business and personal. I have an entire Asana board dedicated to my vacation packing list that's all categorized out so that I don't need to come up with my packing list every time we go on vacation every year, but I also use it every single day in my business. Notion is also a really big app that a lot of people are using. Michelle B sells her Notion template on her shop as well. And at the end of this video, I'm going to dive into a case study on how I sold a Asana template over the last month and made just over $8,000 with using this digital product, an Asana board template. But again, when you're thinking about these Trello boards, these Asana boards, what does your audience need? What problem are you solving? It could be a meal plan already mapped out into Asana or into Trello with the grocery list listed as well. Maybe it's a cleaning organization system and it's broken down that Monday you clean this, Tuesday you clean this. So we can just go into the app, check it off, and we know exactly what we need to do every single day. Again, your digital products should really solve a problem that your audience is having. The next idea is a guide. And what's great about a guide is that you can turn it into a PDF and share it as a Google Drive link that people can download. My friend Erin has Get the Shot Guide that walks you through how to get all the different photo shots on your own, like selfie style, for your business. So you can use these shots in social media, on your website, but you can see it just walks through everything that you need to do to get all the shots that you need in your business. Maybe it is a get started with keto guide and you list like seven different recipes and your pantry staples and all of these things for somebody that's just getting started with keto. Because again, we want a shortcut. We want it easy. We need it made simple for us. So when you create a digital product guide, that's what I want you to think here is what can you add in this guide to make the life of your customer easy. The next one is a workshop. And what's great about a workshop is you get a two for one here. You can do a paid for workshop live and get like a cash injection. You can do like a whole promotion strategy marketing plan around a live workshop and then you can turn it into a digital product. So you could sell the recording of that workshop as well as like a workbook and get the slide templates and everything as a digital product. This is my friend Sarah. She's in a mastermind with me. She sells this workshop on how to set up VIP days in your business. So again, this is a really two for one where you can get some cash injection when you initially do it live and then it can continue to bring in money long after you've done that live workshop. Next up is spreadsheet templates. Now I know spreadsheets can seem kind of boring for some of you, but I use spreadsheets in my business all the time and 
I don't want to create them. I don't necessarily enjoy figuring out the formula and I want it to look pretty and I don't have the time to make it look pretty. So when I can find something like this metric success bundle and they already have it templated out for me inside of Google Sheets, it's going to make my life super easy because I'm not going to waste the time figuring out how to customize it, figuring out how to make it look pretty. And I'm going to be able to plug in my data quickly. So again, this is solving the problem of me needing to read my metrics and also wanting it to be in a pretty format. And because it is Google Sheets, it is super easy to share. You could literally share the link to your Google Sheets in an email. You don't even need a course platform to do this. So this is such a great thing that you could create over the weekend. I also think about, you know, accountants and content plans that could be used in Google Sheets. That would be super helpful. Again, I really think about my audience, which many of you are business owners. I'm usually thinking in the mindset, how can I help these solo entrepreneurs business life easier? So that's why, again, I, I talk a lot about B2B, but these things can also work B2C if you truly understand that one problem that one person is having and how you can simplify that problem for them. Next up is a plan, and the example I'm gonna use here is an eating plan. My friend Michelle of Michelle Marie Fit, she sells a pregnancy diet plan. So this is gonna be great for that person that you know is pregnant, and they're like, I really don't wanna gain a lot of weight over my pregnancy. I wanna make sure I'm staying fit, but I wanna also make sure that I'm eating all the right things to keep my baby and myself healthy during my pregnancy. You could also create a clean your house plan, a organize your house, plan, organize your business plan, and list all the different things that you need to do when you need to do them, space it out on specific days. Because again, I specifically just need you to tell me what I should be doing each day to make my life easier. I'm making so many decisions every single day as it is. So if I can have an eating plan, if I can have a cleaning plan, an organization plan to know if I just do one thing every day, my house will be cleaner. I'll be eating healthier, but I'm not having to think about it. So these are great options that you can start selling as a digital product. Again, you can make this a PDF, put it in your Google Drive folder and easily share the link in an email so you don't need any super fancy course platform to start selling this digital product idea. For those of you that are artists out there, you can totally sell your art as a digital product as well. I think about my friend Janet of Janet Gwen Designs. She sells this digital art. I also think think of Lindsay Letters, who actually this whiteboard is from, but she also sells digital prints and art as well on her website. So this is another way, again, I'm thinking out of the box here, not all B2B, but a way that you could sell to your consumers your art. So you can start making money with your art as well. If you use like your iPad and you do custom lettering, you could also sell that as a digital product. Now I wanna go through five more digital products in kind of a lightning round situation so that we can get to the case study for how I sold my most recent digital product and what we did to sell it. So another digital product idea that you could create this weekend is mindset meditations. I know a lot of people like to listen to mindset meditations every morning and so if you're in the self-help space or you're a yoga instructor or you're in the mindset space, could you create like a weekly mindset series that you could could sell and deliver to them that they could listen every single day. Maybe you have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday one, or maybe you have one for every single day of the week, or maybe you have one for every week of the month to, again, get their mindset right. It's your audience, you understand them best, but this is a way that you can just send them a digital audio recording, almost like a private podcast, but you can totally sell this as a digital product. Another digital product idea is a toolkit. So think about all the things somebody may need to get started with your niche. Um, I think YouTube, right? I could create a YouTube starter toolkit where I provide channel banner templates, thumbnail templates, some editing graphic templates, and sell it for $37. And you could get access to all that and it gets you started a lot quicker. I think of a branding toolkit as well. Can you give them templates to logos, social media? What is a toolkit of things that you could put together in a little bundle that would help them initially get started? Because again, if you're getting them to get started with a small ticket offer, anywhere from $17 to $37, 
and you get them to do it, they are going to want that next step. How can they take this further? And since you already helped them with that first step, they're gonna look to you for that next step. So this is gonna be such a great opportunity for you to turn that $17 to $37 purchase into that next step, whether it's a course or working with you. Another digital product idea is website templates. My brand designer, Mackenzie, she offers a few of these over in her shop. Again, if you're a business owner that's just getting started or you know any type of person that wants a website but they want to have a nicely designed website from the get-go this really solves that problem by having that template to get started immediately without trying to figure out how do I freaking start a website I'm back onto the health side of things again and I'm thinking like a workout plan can you give me like a 30-day workout plan maybe it's a PDF like we talked about earlier but each day you're walking me through what I should be doing with my workout out is it just walking 30 days maybe I can check it off maybe you're walking me through the exercises that I need to do and you have the instructions on how to do the exercises and I just follow this 30-day workout plan and you can sell that and again if they get through that 30 days 14 days whatever you decide to do and they see the results because your program works or your workout plan works they're gonna want that next thing from you. If you're getting them results in your 17 to $37 digital product, you're building that trust with them and they are going to want to spend more money with you. Another digital product idea is a get started guide. And I think literally this could work for anything to get started. Get started with your Mac laptop. I know I could have used that for my dad a few months ago when he decided to buy a Mac. Maybe I just bought him this get started guide and he read that. Um, get started with a specific camera. I get a lot of questions about my camera, my Sony ZV-1. Um, maybe I could create a get started guide on that. But people wanna know just how to get started, how to take that first step. That first step is always the scariest. So if you can give them a step-by-step -step guide, process, video walkthrough, and you know, it's 17 to $37, we are going to want that. Because again, that is solving one problem for that one person. Okay, now let's dive into this case study of my most recent digital product, Going Video. So here's how I sold Going Video. We started promoting it two weeks in advance. We created a wait list to create buzz around it. We were releasing Going Video on January 16th, so start of the new year, we started talking about this brand new offer that I had that was going to get you started on video. There was an added bonus. If you got on the wait list, you got access to purchase my new digital product one hour early. Why that was important was because the first 50 purchasers got to be on a coaching call with me. So I really created this buzz and this promotion to get people excited, making them want to buy that digital product as soon as I released it. When you're creating a digital product, you've got to create some buzz around it. You've got to promote it. You can't just create it, plop it on your website and expect it to sell. You really need to think almost of it like a promotional strategy to get buzz and get people into it. Because once you get people into it, they're going to start talking about it. They're going to give you possibly testimonials. They're going to tell their friends about it. And that's how you're going to get this snowball of sales started. So it's going to be really important when you drop it to talk about it as much as possible to get as many people in there as possible in the beginning. So over the course of those two weeks leading up to our releasing going video, we sent three emails and then the week prior to the doors open or you know the link going live, we talked about it every single day on social. Um, our Instagram posts, my Instagram stories, we did reels for it as well. So it's not just like I released this thing and I didn't tell anybody, we were loud about our brand new digital product. So in just one week, we were able to sell 91 purchases of going video. So that equated to around $3,367, but in two weeks from going video, we made over $5,000. So where's the difference coming in? The secret to really utilizing your digital products is having a strategy for upping your cart value. So have you ever checked out for somewhere and say, oh, would you be interested in this too? What about this? 
This is a marketing tactic that is going to increase your cart value. But you aren't just throwing any additional digital product into this series to get the cart value. You want to think what would that purchaser need to supplement your digital product, right? You don't want them to think this bump or this upsell should be included in that digital product, but it would be nice to have and it would assist them. So we had our going video, which gives you everything to get started with video content. You have my Asana workflow for my YouTube videos. You have my Asana workflow for my reels. And then I walk through my process for setting up my area to film these videos. So then I have a $17 bump that is the replay to kickstart your YouTube Spark Challenge, which is five days of videos showing you how to get started on YouTube, everything you need to know. So again, with going video, I'm showing them how to get started on video so they can get started. And then the bump makes sense, right? If they're gonna get started on video, okay, I wanna do YouTube video, so I wanna make sure I'm starting my YouTube channel the right way. Because going video isn't promising YouTube strategy. It's promising getting you started and getting your workflow set up. So that's an additional feature that would be helpful to them. So we added that bump to it, that $17 bump. And then once they officially purchase and check out, they're given an additional offer, which in this case is my editing course, Editing for Conversions. And they can get $100 off of that course for a limited time, for like 15 minutes, I think. And again, Going video isn't promising editing, but if they're gonna get started with video and they're gonna get started with YouTube, they may wanna know how to edit. That would be an additional content, additional course that would be an asset to them, but they're not assuming that editing content should be inside a going video because it's not promised in that digital product. That digital product going video is pitching, getting started, getting your process and your workflow set up. So this is what has allowed us to take just our $37 purchase and getting, you know, $3,000 into two more thousand dollars. And I know this funnel seems kind of complicated, but I'm going to be sharing with you the next couple of weeks how you can start strategizing a digital product funnel like this as well. So make sure you drop any questions that you have about kind of this process of this funnel in the comments below and you're subscribed because like I said those videos are going to be coming out soon and I want to make sure all of your questions are answered. And if you didn't catch my last video on why you really need to have a digital product in your business make sure you watch that video now. It is on your screen. All you need to do is click on it. And if you're thinking Trina I hardly have time as it is how am I gonna have time to create this digital product watch the series that I just finished here on my channel all about how to plan your life as a solo business owner trust me it's a good one